Hi guys, so in the last conceptual design tutorial, we covered composite attributes and multivalued attributes, right, along with the, the, you know, simple attributes and the other thing, simple, uh, single-valued attributes, right? But now, one distinction or one thing that, you know, we should clear up is that of a multivalued attribute versus a composite attribute. Okay? Then we'll make a little t-chart here. Okay, that line was very off. Little t-chart. Multi-valued has multiple values for the same attribute. So what do we mean by this? Well, let me just underline keywords here. So let's say we have phone number, right? Five 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 six seven three seven. Five 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 zero oh, seven one four. Five 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 zero oh, oh, zero oh, zero one. Well, multiple values for the same attribute. Our attribute that we're looking at is phone number. And we have all these different values that could be linked to a phone number. Whereas a composite attribute has multiple attributes, but each has a single value. So multiple attributes, each with a single value right so what this would be is let's say we had address right and we would have street city state so we could say the street would be main street uh, the city would be New York City and the state would be New York. Each of these, the street, the city, and the state only has one value. Whereas the phone number, well, you could have the, you know, this phone number, this phone number, this phone number. These are each mapped to one and only one value. Okay, but address has each of these components, right? So now a derived attribute. few things we want to go over about that doesn't physically exist and I know this sounds a little weird within the database and I'll explain right but it's derived or computed by an algorithm or computation So in other words, we don't have a specific column for these derived attributes, but using other attributes, we might say, um, I don't know, okay, strength. Let's say our game character has strength. I like, I like using game examples. Uh, so we have strength. Strength is power times speed. Let, let's just say, I mean, I know that's a silly example, but if we have I and J here, so power is I, speed is J, then strength will be I times J. Now the idea is that behind the scenes, this computation would be going on. So there's no co there's no uh, column here for strength in our table, right? There's no column there for that. But an algorithm is performing this calculation, and strength is serving as a derived attribute in this matter. Um, do we have time to go over the notation? I guess we do. So entity, an entity is shown by this uh, as per uh, original notation, right? A relationship. is a diamond attributes and actually notice we're almost hitting the five minute mark so I'm gonna continue this list uh, in the next tutorial thanks